So, yeah, let's conclude, shall we, with the Casa do Dia today. This is the, well, the feature that we tend to conclude the show with. And uh, this is somebody, um, a chap called Lee, who, who heard that I was doing this kind of thing and said, would you share my property on the show? So I thought, yes, why not? Um, so here I am. It's an interesting one, actually. It's, um, you know, I, I do some really unusual ones. And, you know, I'm thinking of doing Straw Bale House tomorrow and a very interesting property that's, that's very kind of self-built and, and organic uh, and, and arts and crafty. And then there's, there's wonderful James Bond type homes in the, uh, in the Algarve and, you know, swanky residences that I also share with you. But um, this one is actually quite a straightforward house. And the reason I'm sharing it with you is because I think it's like... It gives you an idea, like a benchmark of, of a, a fairly normal family house, but it's a cracking location. Uh, if I can find the map for you, um, that, that will be really helpful to show you the map because, yes, I have, I can find the map for you. The location of this is Azoya de Baijo, Azoya de Baijo in the Santarang district. And let me just call up some pictures of the house for you because I think you need to see the pictures, obviously, of the house. And I will tell you more about the location because it is a great location. And, and it's, you know, it's a, it's a modest and, uh, looking house. It's been newly renovated. Uh, Lee sent me the details and let me share those pictures with you now of the house. An interior shot. Let's start with the outside, shall we? There we go. There's, there's an exterior uh, of the house. Uh, and this is what Lee has to say about the house. He heard I was doing the Casa de Dia, asked me if I would share this with you. So I am right now. Um, and it is a house that has been completely renovated and ready to move into. And you'll see that from these uh, interior shots here. Nicely done. Nice clean lines in this house. It is located, as I said, in the Azuya do Baijo, the district of Santarang. And it is 10 minutes from the city of Santarang and 40 minutes from Lisbon. And that's what's great about it, I think. It is in Santarang, I think it's a brilliantly central district that includes places like Tamar and Fatima. And it is in its really central location. You can get to Lisbon quickly. Hit from this property, as you can see, 40 minutes. It's a nice exterior shot. And the blue skies that you would hope for in Portugal, they're just, just at the top of the picture. And... Um, yeah, just 40 minutes from Lisbon. So good for the big city and the airport, obviously. This is a three-bedroom house, uh, including one with fitted wardrobe uh, and one bathroom, one living room and one kitchen, including a microwave and, some, and a dishwasher. So some white goods going in. There's that kitchen that I speak of. It's all nicely done and recently done. The house is 100 square meters and has a fenced garden of 192 square meters. There you go, you get an idea of the garden there. Also, the, the house has an attic, possibly an extra room. Uh, Lee says this is a nice, quiet area. And of course, you want to know the price. The price for this is 120, that's a nice garden, isn't it? 120,000 euros uh, for this fabulous, fabulously located place which I will tell you more about. Not sure if I should give Lee's number out into the public domain, but just give me a shout if you want, if you want his number and I'll put you in touch with Lee. And uh, let's look now at the area. But actually, before we do that, let's go back to the, to the external shot so you can see again. I love that garden. That garden's pretty cool, isn't it? And that patio area looks like you can take refuge from the scorching sun that you sometimes experience in Santarang. Uh, there's the outside, rather nice, all painted up and looking lovely. Nice bathroom, and there's the exterior with that what hundred and nearly two hundred meters square meters of garden there, and there's the fitted wardrobe, much like any other fitted wardrobe. But the, yeah, I want to tell you more about the the um, location of this property because I think it's pretty special and I want to sing the praises of Santa Rang. So um, let me just get the right screen up for you again for that Azoya de Baijo, and this is an interesting bit of technology that I've come across as well. Uh, called Map Carter, uh, which I'm going to share right now. Map Carter uh, gives you an, a, a location of, well, anywhere in the world, actually. And it gives you a little bit of uh, information about what's in the area and so on. So it's quite a, a useful little tool. Uh, 
these are the landmarks. You can see there are good railway connections, Santarang and, uh, and, and Troncamento wouldn't be so far away, uh, which is also in Santarang. It tells you the landmarks. There's a good hospital there and the other connected villages and hamlets and towns nearby and uh, tourist attractions in this area where this house is, Azaya do Baijo. But I want to just put it in context for you in, in, a, in a country context. So there you see, let's zoom out and you will see that, uh, oh, I've lost my, I've lost the, the means by which, to, oh, there we go. Um, I'm, I'm zoom, continuing to zoom out. It's quite a complicated screen and you can end up clicking through to booking.com and all sorts, but map Carter certainly has its merits. Now look, that's where the house is. Azoya de Baijo, near Santarang, near Galega, which is the, the horse capital of Portugal, just up there to the northeast. Uh, Rio Maior, for, uh, a, a, of which a bread is named. Uh, you have Azambuja, you have Almairang, you have Almoshta. These are uh, really important and interesting historical places in Portugal. And, and the, you know, it's on the, um, the river there running through. This is the sort of spinal river of Portugal. And this is a lovely drive, actually, uh, which I've done from Lisbon up north. If you go along this kind of Ribatejo um, corridor, it's really special. And, and it's all about the food and drink through that corridor. It's really nice. And then if I uh, zoom out a little bit more, you see the proximity to Lisbon. So to your west, you've got Peniche and Caldas de Reina. Nazare up slightly to the northwest. The Silver Coast, which is, yeah, just to, to, to the west of this property. And Lisbon now down there to the southwest um, from Azoya de Baijo. So I won't say it again, but just to leave that with you, this is a fantastic location. A branch over there in Tamar, look at that, and Arang. Brilliant. Absolutely wonderful location. So there you go. That's the Casa do Dia today. Um, I have been and hopefully will continue to be Carl Munson for the rest of the day. And uh, thank you for joining me. And yes, yeah, send me your properties to share on the show and uh, any Portuguese positive news you have. So, uh, hola, bon dia to you. Uh, have a great day and uh, talaga, te manya, ate a manya. See you tomorrow. Take care.